guys, I have redshirt senior defender Brandon Hackenberg here with us. Uh, we'll go straight into questions uh, with him. So whenever you're ready, uh, we can get started. So Trent, go ahead and kick us off. Brandon, you've obviously been here with the soccer team um, through some good and bad years. Um, your freshman year, the team's winning percentage was right at 500. Then it wasn't until 2019 that you guys got back over 500. And now obviously another solid year this year. Um, what would it mean to you after the ups and downs and after deciding to come back and finish out your final year here to uh, leave with a Big Ten championship? Yeah, I mean, that, that was kind of part of the reason why I decided to come back uh, for this COVID spring season um, was because I wanted to to leave Penn State with, with something something more than just, you know, I, oh, I played like, like, yeah, it's been, it's been great. I've learned a lot. I've developed as a soccer player. Like I, I wanted to, to win some sort of trophy before I left. Um, so, I mean, that, that would mean a lot to me personally. And, and, you know, I think our team is, is good enough to, to pull it off and, you know, we're looking forward to the opportunity to do so. Um, yeah. You know, it, it would really mean a lot to me personally, but um, we know we're capable and we know we're up for the challenge. So, Otis. Hey, Brandon. Uh, it's a little loud over here. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. All right. Awesome. Um, so obviously everyone knows it's tough to beat a, a good team twice. Um, and it, it took like a 75th minute goal last time. Uh, what's it going to take in order to beat Ohio State twice? Yeah. They're, first off, they're a good team. So credit to Ohio State. Um, gave us a good game the first time. Um, but, you know, looking back on film and and knowing how we went about the game, you know, there are some things that we felt we could have done better, which starts with a, a strong start. We don't feel like we started the game super, super strong. We didn't put enough pressure on them early enough in the game. Um, so, you know, I feel like if we come out and do that, when we did that in the game, it created some opportunities for us and kind of turned the game towards our favor. Um, so I think it just starts with a strong, strong start and understanding that, yeah, it's going to be a battle and, and, we're going to have to find a goal, whether, like you said, we got one in the 75th minute, you know, we're going to have to keep, keep grinding the game away and keep fighting until we can get that goal. And then um, just understand that we know how good we are as a team and, and, you know, however long it takes to get the goal, once we get one, you know, we can get another um, and just do all the small things, right. Uh, just be concentrated throughout the whole game and, and as focused as we can be for, for the 90 minutes. Go ahead, Trent. Is there anything that you guys as a team feel like you need to improve on, um, not only to beat Ohio State again, but also to make a deep run in the Big Ten tournament? Yeah, I go back to the whole starting strong thing. You know, I, I think we in, in our first game against Maryland, we obviously came out firing and, and got a couple goals pretty early. Um, and, you know, I think that we kind of have fallen off that a bit in a, in a couple games. Um, so I think if if we just – come out with a lot of energy, um, use our depth to our advantage. That's been something that's been consistent all year. That's really helped us. Um, but I think honestly, the biggest thing is just understanding that every game from here on out, it's going to be a battle and going about it like that. And just, you know, using our energy, come out at running as hard as we can, um, being as high, highly energetic as we can be. I think that'll, that'll really help us, uh, to get control of games a little better and a little faster. Go ahead, Otis. Yeah, Brandon, um, coach talked a little bit about um, just how Ohio State pushes numbers forward uh, and attacks in with large, uh, large quantities of attackers. Um, how important is like just Tiger and Femi going to be on the wings? Because, you know, as freshmen, they've just kind of come in and really, really had a good season. You know, how important are they going to be? Uh, on Saturday. Yeah, I think throughout the year, you know, it's tough to, to ask a freshman to come in and contribute so much, but those two guys have done really good for us, um, have been key contributors to our success this season. So, I, it, you know, I think it's just taking what they've learned throughout the games that they've got in and the minutes they've played and and relying on some of the older guys like myself and Reedy to, to communicate with them and help them when the game does get a little fast and stretched and tough for them to to stay up to speed with everything going on. Um, I guess a little chaotic would be the word. Um, but, you know, I just think that they just got to do what they've been doing. And 
and you know I think I think they'll do fine if they just take what they've learned throughout the season so far and just apply it to the game on Saturday. Go ahead, Trent. So coach talked about game management being um, kind of essential coming up here in these next and they get in the tournament and um, hopefully in like the national tournament as well. How do you feel that like you and Pierre and some of the other like, you know, more veteran leaders of the team can really help out some of these younger guys in game management and making sure they kind of manage their um, energy level and also their emotions? Yeah, I think I think we all kind of have gauged a better understanding of game management at the end of games and knowing what to do in what situations. So I think I think we'll we'll be much improved in that area throughout the rest of the season. Um, but I think for me and Reedy and the older guys, it's just, you know, giving them mental notes and reminders throughout the game that and even when the situation kind of comes about, if there's, you know, 10 minutes left in the game, um, to try to waste some time or, or do something to help us um, just manage the game, keep the ball. And I think that just comes from, you know, us just talking and communicating that to make sure everyone's aware of the situation. Um, but I, like I said, you know, it's something that we've talked about in film and, and Jeff's been, um, he's, he's made sure that it's uh, embedded in our heads that it's something we've got to get better at. So I, I think it will be much improved um, and important uh, in the next couple of games and, you know, the stretch of games we have coming up. No problem. Thank you, guys. Have a good one.